before, it was like nature spread across the world, because it sort of did back in the 60s. And then after realizing what was going on, it was never quite the same because I've got to try and save it. I've got to try and save it. Nature is treated as though it's a commodity. And we've brought climate change on ourselves, loss of biodiversity on ourselves, and the pandemic on ourselves. It's all our fault from our disrespect of nature and animals. When I finally got to Cambridge and they told me, you can't talk about chimps having personalities, minds or emotions, because those are unique to us. I knew that was rubbish. I didn't deliberately plan it, but it's just who I am. Not to confront the professors, not to say, oh, you're wrong, but just to quietly go on doing what I knew was right. And it's the same if I'm trying to change somebody who disagrees. Not to be holier than thou and attack and say you're doing wrong and you've got to do right, but rather you've got to reach the heart. And I do that through storytelling. Kids are absolutely fascinated by the time I spent with chimps. So that's the nice doorway in. Because once they know the problems and they're empowered to take action, they're so enthusiastic. I mean, it's their world and they, they now know enough, starting quite young. They know that we're destroying the world now because it's everywhere, you can't miss it. First, we got to alleviate crippling poverty because when you're poor, you can't protect the environment if it's your only way of survival. But once you're not in that category, then we can all make ethical choices in what we buy. The positive is there's so much more awareness and talk. There's so much more pressure from the public. I'm about to leave the world and leave it behind me with all the mess, whereas young people have to grow up into it. That's why they need every bit of help they can. And if, you know, if they succumb to the doom and gloom, which many have, then they lose hope. If you lose hope, that's the end. Because if you don't hope, that there's a way out. If you don't hope that your actions can make a difference, then you sink into apathy and do nothing. So hope is absolutely crucial if we're to get through this.